Hi everyone! Um, right, today I want to have a go at making some scrap monsters. I watched a video um, last week, I think it was, um, by The Little Ink, Courtney Diaz. Um, her channel, her YouTube channel is called The Little Ink. And she did um, a video where she showed how she'd made um, some scrap monsters and they were so cute. They were absolutely adorable. And in fact, I actually shared the post and uploaded it onto my um, Facebook page. And she basically cut out some shapes, um, monster shapes from um, cardboard. Um, I'm using cereal boxes here. Um, I don't know what, I think it was just regular cardstock that, um, that she used. And she made, she used scraps of paper and she just made really cute little monsters. So here are mine. I'm going to um, do three. And um, I've just cut these, as I say, out of um, cereal boxes. Here's the um, leftover scraps. So I just drew a basic shape in pencil and um, cut it cut it out with my, my scissors. Um, then made three little faces. Now, as all of you know, drawing is not my thing. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. So um, this one is just a basic copy of one of the, the ones that Courtney did. Um, and the other two are inspired by hers, but I've just done my own um, take on it. And to be perfectly honest with you, this was the bit that took me um, the most time because I just fiddled around with it and tried to change it. And um, oh gosh, it's just me being ridiculous. Other people could do it in seconds flat, but th there you go, I can't. <laughs> so if any of you just want to copy exactly what I've done here, feel free. Um, it makes no difference to, to, to me. Um, no copyright here, I assure you. Um, so, so yeah, so those are the three um, basic shapes that um, that I've done. And what I'm going to be using, she um, used scrapbook paper um, for hers, and I'm going to do that with um, with one of mine. This is the book that I talk about um, sometimes that um, that inspired me. Um, to well th this was how I found um, mixed media um, or, and YouTube I bought this book from um, the not the works um, the Ra not the range either what's it called home sense which is an offshoot of TK Maxx here in the UK and it was 5 99 and I picked up this book because I was just I just thought the, pa the pa um, papers inside it were just absolutely beautiful and it comes with a, a CD I and mean, the, the idea is that you print um, the patterns there's um, a reference on each page and you can print them off to, to your heart's content my printer is not very good um, quality and so you know the colour copies that I get are, are rubbish basically so I'm just tearing for, you know for 5 99 um, I'm just using mine as a paper pad and just you know I don't use sort of much scrapbook paper to be honest but I thought you know ideal for using it for this so these are the pages that um, I've pulled out and I'm going to use a mixture of um, some of these so one of them will be done with scrapbook paper one of them will be done with a mixture of my own um, papers these are my drop papers that um, that I've worked on over the past few few months you'll, you'll recognize some of these and um, that's the end piece of the one that I did um, the other day so um, so I thought right chop off the the end which you know hasn't got any of the flowers on so but will you know probably look good in smaller pieces um, I think that's the favorite ever one that I did so I've got a small piece of, of that left but you know what's the point of doing these if you're not going to use them in fact there's an, another piece um, of it um, so I'm going to be using some of this that was the um, sort of one um, left over when I was doing mixed media morsels um, spillage from distress inks that I was doing the other day and just another drop paper and that was the sponging one that I did for the cat hand mixed media morsels when I was um, using up all the leftover over paint so I'm going to do one using my leftover papers and then let me just bend down onto the floor the third one I'm going to do um, using this box um, of scraps this is just a box that I keep um, just on my bookshelf and it's where I put just little tiny pieces um, of, of scraps. These are some of my stickers um, I, I do believe. Um, let's have a look and see. Well it doesn't matter I'm pretty sure it is and just little pieces left over. That was um, a piece of 
um, washi from Happy Mail um, that, that I received recently. And there's just, you know, some of my marble papers. That's watercolour print um, done on a, um, a coffee filter. And there's all kinds of things, book paper, pieces of lace. There's all kinds of um, scraps and, and things um, in here. Um, so I'm going to try and use some of that for, for one of them as well. So I should get three completely different um, looks. So anyway, um, let's get cracking. Let me just get myself organised, clear all the cardboard away and then I shall come back. Right, okay, ready to um, go. Now I have sanded, um, let me just see, with a fine piece of sandpaper, the top um, of the cereal box and then I've wiped the dust away um, with a baby wipe. Um, I've just torn, I haven't bothered cutting, torn some of these papers, they're double sided um, so I'm just going to randomly stick down um, some paper and we'll see see what happens. Somebody asked me a question um, the other day about how ever do I decide, um, make sure you overlap by the way as well because then we can sort of neatly trim um, around around the edges. Yeah somebody asked me how do I decide whether I use um, deli paper or whether to just work on a on a drop sheet or how do I decide or whether you know I use my um, my mat um, when I am um, gluing I tend to to use um, either a piece of deli paper or um, my my silicon mat I use one of the the baking mats rather than the, the Tim Holtz just because we can't get hold of them here and they're so expensive anyway and um, the oven liners the silicon oven liners do the job just just as well I don't know whether they're silicon actually you know what I mean Teflon liners that's what um what I'm thinking of um so um so yes I drew do use my drop sheet um trying to decide I'm being indecisive here look um, I use my drop sheet when it's just paint or inks that I'm using not when there's glue um, involved just because glue just makes such a, a mess I mean it's quite easy um, with the, the the deli paper because I can just sort of leave it to one side to dry I don't throw it away I keep it I just leave it to one side and then I'll use it um, next time and you can see that this has got ink and all sorts on it as well anyway um, so that's how I how I decide, um, but I agree it is difficult sort of making decisions um, all the time as to what you should use, and you don't want to sort of lose any of that valuable, beautiful paint and colour that that you're using along the way. Right, so as I say, just randomly sort of putting putting this down, trying as hard as I can not to think about it too much. Um, now there's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. So we'll just continue to glue this and then what I'll do at the end as well um, is I shall use a credit card just to sort of go over the top just to make sure that I've got no air bubbles. Right, okay, so all the papers now are glued on and um, I've given it a quick quick um, zap with the heat gun. So I'm just going to turn it over now and um, trim around the edges. I should probably wait um, for it to dry a bit more, but um, I just want to get this video um, done for you. So, so I'm just going to go for it. Well, I haven't heard anything really from Sam yet. He texted last night um, to say that he was in Dubai. They were stopping off at Dubai. For those of you who don't know, my youngest son has gone to China um, with school um, on an exchange trip. He went, um, I dropped him off at school yesterday at 10 o'clock in the morning. They were getting the coach to Birmingham Airport and um, they were going to um, China via Dubai. So he texted last night at about um, 10 o'clock, half 10, to say that um, they were in Dubai. And um, and I haven't heard anything since. But I think China, we have been warned, um, is a bit patchy in terms of um, them having internet access and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to have to be patient. I know that he's going to be fine um, and just wait to hear from him. He could be sleeping. I mean, you know, gosh. Um, I think it, they were arriving at about 
three o'clock in the afternoon Chinese um, time. Right, okay, so there's my scrap monster. Now this one, I wanted to use the quite masculine colours because this one is going to be um, the boy. So I am just going to go over this with another coat of Mod Podge and put it to one side and then I'm going to grab the other two and I'm going to do the same thing with those. And once I've um, decoupaged those, I shall come back and show you. Okay, so I've done exactly the same thing with um, my drop papers. I've torn um, some pieces into strips and um, I'm going to do exactly um, the same thing here. I'm just going to glue random pieces down. In fact, I might try just smoothing it out because this is bumpy because of the, the paint. Um, I'm just going to need a lot more um, Mod Podge, I think, to get this to, to stick. But again, I'm just going to put um, random pieces on here and just try and make this look as pretty as I can. I hope these turn out as well as um, as I'm hoping they will. I just loved um, that video of Courtney's. It was just such a fabulous idea. And I just thought it was perfect for using up all of my um, drop paper scraps. Right, and here's my um, third scrap monster that I want to decorate. I've had a rummage through my scrap box and the pieces that I've dug out are, I think I'm going to stick with a, a purple theme. There were too many different random things in, in there. So I've grabbed some of the marble papers. Um, I also found some of the dendritic um, prints. That was the one that I did for Art Zoology. That was um, for, for the face. And there's some of the cutout circles there too. So I might use... Um, some of those. That was the circles that I made the hair out of. Um, so there's some more of the, that were, well that was the heart, there we go. Um, I've also got some of the um, Hello Kitty um, tape that was on a piece of Happy Mail that's sort of, you know, pinks that I might use. For a bit of contrast I might um, use some music paper. Um, so that's alcohol ink, I'm not going to use that. Um, I'm not going to, to get too busy on this. So let me have a play around and I'll come back once um, I've glued and dried um, everything down. Right, okay, so here's my scrap monsters as they look um, at the moment, all completely different. I just love them, they're just so cute. This one here um, is looking a bit busy. And so um, out of um, the cardboard, I've drawn a couple of arms, which I'm going to attach um, with some, um, Oh gosh, brads. And I think I'm going to do some socks um, as well um, to match. I'm going to ink around the edges using um, my alcohol ink marker. I should use the wide tip here just to sort of draw a, a thick line around the edges, the same as I've done with the faces. Um, and then I'll decide what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to go off camera because I need to get quite coat close and I'll draw the outline and then we'll come back and we'll have a look and um, see what it looks like then. This one might have a bow tie for instance. Um, we'll have a look. I'll come back. I just want to show you um, how I'm getting my thick outline around the edge. And as I say, I'm just using the thick chisel tip and I'm just going round and just moving the piece of card and that I've found is the easiest and most consistent way of getting your line around the edge. Just using a scrap piece of paper here just to sort of catch any of the black ink to save your table. And just keep moving it around. Make sure I'm in camera for you. And there we go. So um, let's turn it over. That's how that looks. Um, but there they all are, and you can see that the black outline just makes a massive, massive um, difference. It just makes them stand out a whole lot more. So as I say, I want to fiddle around. I want some black and white um, socks, I think, for this one here. I'm going to glue her hair on. Um, I don't know quite what else I'll do with her yet. 
and um, and this little fellow here um, there we go I just think he's he's crying out for a bow tie so let me have a play around and then I'll, I'll come back again Here's my scrap monsters all finished and I'm so pleased with them um, right let me just talk through what um, what I've done um, this fellow here um, has had his his bow tie um, I just cut out a piece of scrap um, in a bow tie shape from the cereal box and then just used the broad um, tip just to ink it in black. Um, then um, he's had a bit of doodling around the bow tie. I've added some dots underneath the stripes on his ears and a couple of polka dots um, by his shoes. He's had black shoes, by the way. So that's him. Um, this um, girl here um, has also had some black shoes and some polka dots and then I've just added one of my um, marble paper flowers just as an embellishment for her hair. Um, and then this fellow here, this little guy, um, has had some um, stripes for his socks. Um, I've given him um, a hat, again cut out of cereal box, um, and then I've given some stripes again with the broad tip of my alcohol marker and then used my Posca pen for some um, polka dots. I originally um, cut out these thin arms, but they just didn't look right, so I cut some more, just a little bit fatter, and again I've done the same, added stripes with the broad tip. And then I used my pokey tool um, to make the hole so that I could add um, some brads. So thanks, Mika. These are the brads that, that you sent me um, in my happy mail. And then finally, I just went around the edge with the, whoops, wrong, wrong end, around the edge with the broad tip marker, um, just around the edge here, um, just to disguise all of the white and the hard white um, edges. And, um, and that's it. So I think those are, are really cute. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think, whether you liked this kind of um, video from me. I mean, it's, you know, completely different to sort of anything that I've done in the, in the past. Would you like to see more quirky things um, like this? Anyway, leave me a comment below um, and I'll see you all again soon. Take care for now.